Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I and other colleagues, in particular including the members for South Dorset and Newport East, would like to follow up on the Minister's comments to the House in March this year regarding the tragic sinking of RFA Sir Galahad in the Falklands War. Does the Minister have any update to give on the release of further files regarding this case? Mm. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, following meetings with colleagues and veterans, having personally reviewed the files at the National Archive, uh, and in the interest of transparency, I am placing copies of two recently reviewed extracts from the 1982 Board of Inquiry report on the loss of RFA Sir Galahad in the Library of the House. These extracts are drawn from different sections of the inquiry and have been returned to the National Archives within the main report, which will be publicly available. Mr Speaker, can I say thank you to the Minister for Defence, People and Families on behalf of Falklands veterans and their families, including Mike Hermanis, who brought the issue to me, for releasing those documents relating to the bombing of Sir Galahad in 1982, which therefore exonerate the Welsh Guards. And whilst I know the campaign, which includes the Honourable Member for Cardiff South and Penarth, will continue to seek the full truth, does he agree with me that instead of blamed, they are owed our thanks for their service. Yeah. 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 Uh, I absolutely agree with the Honourable Lady. As the Government has made clear and consistently throughout, no blame is attached in particular uh, to the Welsh Guards. They committed themselves heroically on that day, and I join her in her salute to them and in particular to those who died. Yeah.